Hello, welcome to Brian's Beginner Garage. This vlog is going to be about beginners like myself uh, doing uh, modifications on my car. Uh, I have a 2015 uh, MK7 GTI. Uh, I've got a bunch of equipment that I want to install. Uh, right now I'm going to be installing the 034 Motorsports uh, intake with a CTS turbo inlet uh, tube. Um, I have some 034 transmission mount, a 034 Motorsport transmission mount and engine mount that I want to get installed. I don't know if I'm going to do that today or not. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, just going to kind of dig in. I've never actually had the air box out or anything like that. So I'm going to read some uh, tutorials on that, see how exactly how it comes out and uh, get started on it. So um, let's do this. All right. I hope everyone can see this right here. This is a good little view here. Um, I'm going to be working right here, taking this part out right now. Um, I've already disconnected the secondary hose here and the little tube right here on the side here. I'm going to be taking this part off right here. All right, what you need to do this is a uh, just a little ratchet with a T25 Torx bit. Boom, right there. You see that? Boom, boom. And I know a lot of people use, uh, they have like little drills that do this and make it a lot faster, but we're just gonna go ahead and do that the old fashioned way. So here's what we're going to install. It's a 034 Motorsports intake, it's plastic kind of simple looking I like it it's gonna look nice underneath here and uh, probably try to get that in here today too that looks pretty badass the only problem only that sucks if I don't do the transmission mount today I gotta take this all back out um, but that's not a big deal so all right what you need here is a seven millimeter socket uh, to get this back hose clamp off and that's what I'm doing right now I got the, uh, the hose fitting on here, the fitting for, to uh, go from the turbo inlet pipe to the intake. All right, as you can see here, I put the 034 Motorsports intake on here. I slid it down in the hose. I'm going to tighten up the clamp here. Right over here, I think it looks pretty, pretty cool inside here. So I'm going to tighten up this clamp. It's right up there. Try to put the new clamps right where I can uh, get to them really easy, just in case I gotta take this off for any reason, which I'm going to be doing that when I install the mounts. So, hopefully, you guys can see me doing all this here, I'm not in the way of the camera. Snug, maybe it's down a little far on one side. Make sure you get those hose clamps even. Make sure that's good. It's good around the back side. I just gotta check that back side. That's very important. All right, I'm going to wait to completely snug that down until I get this all where it needs to be. All right, so went ahead and mounted that. It's pretty simple. Stick it in there, put the screw in, tighten it down. It's good to go. Uh, your hose, your little bitty hose is going to go right over here. Um, they give you uh, six washers for eight screws, and it says use six of the eight screws, but from what I can see, you need all eight screws. So I went and uh, luckily I have, have some washers, so I'm going to go ahead and put all of them in that are supposed to be in, because that's the way it looks to be. Um, you want, don't tighten this down exactly until you're 
until you got this set, that's obvious. So I left that a little loose so I can move it around a little bit and get these snug, and then I'll, I'll tighten that down here in a second. So you just snug these down. All right, I went ahead and snugged my last hose can clamp down there, and I'm going to go ahead and snug all these. Now the 034 Motorsport uh, intake does come with a high flow air filter, but because I already had the racing line fil foam filter, I'm going to go ahead and keep that in there for now and I'll, if this ever breaks down or I just don't, you know, if it, maybe if there's a defect in it, you never know, I'll have a spare. So there we go. Back here was kind of a little bugger the way this new hose sits. Look at me being OCD, making sure my washers are straight as they can be on here. Last couple things here. Uh, we're going to take our hose since our hose is now over here. Take and slide that bad boy on there. And that's it. All right, look what I did. I forgot to add a screw here. I had a screw that I didn't put in right next to uh, next to this here. So I'll go ahead and screw that down. All right, it's got her started up. Sounds kind of the same. I don't really see and hear any difference yet. Um, but it's since it's a stock lower air box and it's all enclosed. It probably not much different, but uh, gonna let her warm up here, get her out there, and uh, we'll see what we get. All right, guys, first impression uh, 034 Motorsports uh, intake for the Mark 7 uh, GTI. Uh, I do notice a little bit of better throttle response, uh, engine sounds a little deeper um, when you get on it. Uh, you can kind of hear that intake sound so. Definitely sounds a little throatier. Uh, not not as if uh, you know you have an open intake. All right, welcome back here. Um, so we uh, installed that 034 Motorsport um, intake. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's a nice product. It looks good underneath the engine, um, but I'm not really worried about how great my engine looks. Uh, but uh, looks clean. Looks smooth. Um, Looks like it should be there. Uh, I like uh, I like 034's uh, concept here. I like their quality. I like their design. Um, you know, the intake was about average cost of the intakes out there. I think uh, a good one. Uh, this one's pretty simple. It's just you know you know kind of the top box here um, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, um, I think it did good. Um, it felt good out there on the road. Um, throttle response was good. Worth the money? I think so. I mean, you got to think these guys uh, put a lot of R&D into uh, their product. Um, so, 
Next up, uh, we're going to be doing the motor mount, 034 motor mount and uh, their transmission mount as well. Um, but, uh, you know, I got to uh, take uh, this bad boy out here, that here. Should be That one should be fairly simple. Um, and then, but this bad boy here, you gotta take all, I gotta take the battery out, I gotta move this out of the way, I gotta take the battery tray, I gotta take this whole deal out here. So that could be lengthy. So when I do record that, um, I think that's going to be a pretty good time lapse uh, uh, piece there, uh, here and there, maybe bits and pieces, because nobody wants to sit around and watch this beginner guy like me uh, spend a, all day doing it probably <laughs> maybe not but uh, so yeah thanks for watching uh, if you like this channel like it uh, subscribe you know I'm gonna keep posting more videos of my mark 7 GTI um, you know if you don't want to don't want to subscribe I'm all right with that you know I'm just doing this for fun um, but uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Leave a comment below. Uh, let me know if there's any uh, anything you like to see or uh, anything I can explain better. Anything, any input, any uh, any feedback. This is uh, I'm not used to. Uh, I'm not a I'm not a video guy. Um, like I said, I'm just doing this for fun uh, for guys who aren't real, aren't mechanics and just want to have a little fun with their vehicles and ha do more than just drive them. Um, driving is the fun part but I think also installing cool shit like that is fun as well um, so yeah all right man peace out